I just took a shower. She is uh, about to start fussing. She's ready to eat. Uh, I'm going to slow down on the coffee intake in the morning. Um, I, I don't know if it's messing with my breast milk, but I just want to make sure she's getting what she's supposed to get. So I'm going to make me some tea. As you guys can see, my mom went and got some duck and decaf. So I'll probably have a uh, decaf uh, cup later on this morning but we're gonna have some tea and some um i want to show you the um cookies i'm gonna eat i normally have like two of the cookies breastfeeding cookies in the morning with my tea so i'll show you guys the cookies that i'm about to eat but i'm about to feed her um and then i'll be right back on here good morning grand rising welcome to another day in the life vlog i'm back but i'm back with miss gabriella <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I just got done breastfeeding Gabriella, and these are the cookies that I am so obsessed with. They are so yummy. So, thank you so much to Munchkin Milk Ale Maker Lactation Cookie Bites. So, shout out to you guys for sponsoring today's video. Um, so, as you guys can see, I have my hot tea. I'm about to put my tea in here. No sugar, just a little honey. And I'm actually going to put... appointment today um today is a weight check because my baby was born premature um well not premature but she was born um four weeks early which is considered uh <coughs> preemie status um so it's really cold outside so i was like let me know 
I, it's really cold outside so i said let me put on her some sweatpants and i have this cute little pink top and then this pretty as a princess um like over the top shirt um because it's really cold outside um i'm also going to put um i have don't mind my room you guys i also have this that i'm probably gonna put over the car seat it's cold out there this is gonna go up the car seat so that she's warm I'm gonna put that car seat cover in the car seat so that no wind gets in there. Like I said, it's quite chilly outside. So I want my baby girl to be warm as possible. Because she's so little, um, I just wanna make sure she's warm. Um, now when it comes to headbands, she is still so small that her headbands like don't fit. So I have to like um, either put like a rubber band on it. Um, I'm probably gonna stitch some but she's gonna wear this little purple one it goes with her outfit i just have to put the rubber band on it so before i get her dressed i'm gonna get dressed um i already took my shower and stuff this morning i put some nipple cream on my uh, please don't take your clothes off because we have to go i put some nipple cream on my nipples because they were a little bit sore last night she's cluster feeding so it's just like every hour or every other hour she's wanting to feed um she will be two weeks on thursday so um we're just trying to get her over this hump um as you guys can see my nails is back <laughs> i just i couldn't live without them like I, I i tried i tried doing the little short set it just didn't work for me so i did um put these on these are press on so they look they can just come right off um so i'm gonna put some glue back put that back on but anytime like i feel like i don't want them i can just easily pop them off and put them back on so i've been rocking it out with my long extended nails um like i said it hasn't been giving me much itch issues um i handle baby very gently with my long nails um and then i also um sanitize my nails so i'm always using hand sanitizer anytime i'm touching anything before i touch her um after the bathroom i make sure i uh, wash my hands with soap and water and put hand sanitizer on my nails so that my nails are clean um so tips for any moms who love long nails we call it grippers if you like glipper grippers then you want to make sure you keep hand sanitizer around you at all times so that you can always keep your hands and nails clean okay so we do take this i'm sorry this one stays here but i do have a hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer that i keep in the baby bag say good morning liam Say welcome to today's vlog. Gabrielle is here. <laughs> okay, so I'm somewhat dressed. I just threw on some leggings, my waist trainer, and this white shirt tied it up because um, baby girl still has to eat. You know, getting dressed nowadays when you are breastfeeding is just not the same. You have to make sure that you accommodate the damn baby. So I had to accommodate her with a... Um, with just like an easy shirt to put on. Um, but we'll be heading out around like 8 45, 9 um, to go to the doctor's appointment and then come back to the house, relax, take a nap, have lunch, yeah. and then go to my appointment. I have a doctor's appointment. They just want to check my incision because I was having a lot of. Oh, she's eating. She's eating, baby. Let her eat. Okay? Get down. Um, I was having a lot of abdominal pain, so I got a refill on my, um, prescription, which is, um, I'm taking Oxy and, um, a lot of other different medications to help my bowel movement, gas. I lost a lot of blood, um, in this delivery and when they took my uterus out. So I still have to take, um, iron supplements, um, to just get my iron level back up because anytime you lose a lot of blood um you know you can get the shivers you can you can just be like really fucked up <laughs> so um i've been taking that um also like stool softeners they just have me on a whole bunch of stuff to just keep me uh regulated and everything but um 
I've like made bowel movements. I feel so much better. Like the first couple of days was like really tough, um, but we got through it. So um, we're gonna head to the doctors and then head back home. I don't know, I'm just really hear you cry when you come to the doctor. She took the thing off. <laughs> yeah, she's some time with that pacifier. Caught her smiling. <laughs> yeah, I caught her smiling. Husband's watching football. He has a lot of big bets in y'all. About to be rich. <laughs> yeah, we about to be rich. <laughs> Alright, so my Sunday meal is done. I have cornbread, rice, green beans, and my famous roast with potatoes and carrots. This is what the dishes look like. <laughs> I don't do the dishes and I don't cook any other day except Sundays. I just had a baby a week ago. But of course I had to give that man a good Sunday meal. Such a good father and a good husband. He still gets on my nerves though. <laughs>